What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, where, where to start, where to start? Um, honestly, I did not expect to be giving you guys an update so soon already on the Twinscape project. But the past week has been quite insane. Like so many things have happened already. So I thought it's best to give you guys an update right now. Maybe do a bit more frequent updates instead of trying to cram a lot of information into less frequent videos basically. So in the past week I tried to document as much as possible uh, which I will show you in a minute. Before I do that I just want to give a massive massive thanks to all of you guys who have been watching my videos lately. Uh, the past few weeks months the channel has been growing really really fast and that's all because of you guys because you guys are watching the videos you guys are smashing the like button and so I really really appreciate that and I, yeah, I appreciate every single one of you. So to see that you guys are enjoying these videos so much, it only motivates me to create more videos. So there's some really cool content coming up. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And uh, now let's get back to the Twinscape experiment. What's up everybody? Hope you're doing well. Uh, this will be the first update on the Twinscape project. It's only been set up for five days. I didn't think we'll see any differences so quickly, but there has been some, some changes happening already. So let me give you guys a quick update. Okay, let's start with the tank with CO2. It's currently in the evening and CO2 has actually just turned off. Still a few bubbles coming out. So like I said, it's been five days and there has been definitely some plant growth already. Especially with the um, the plant in the background, the Heteranthera zostrifolia, something like that. It's doing really well. Floating plants have definitely multiplied already. I feel like the, the Monte Carlo is starting to spread out a little bit, like you can see over there. Spreading out a little bit. On this side as well, the Hygrophila araguaya is starting to grow some new leaves. And um, my Grantamum umbrosum has been growing a bit taller as well. And if we look through the side here, we can see that the Ludwigia repens has started to get some red color already on the tips. So that is nice. And the Rotala orange juice in the background. It's hard to see, but I'm, I'm getting a little bit of orange already. So that's quite quickly after five days only. So that is, I think that's everything. Yeah, as you can see, there's basically no algae yet, so that's good. I mean, I didn't expect any algae after only five days. But if you're moving to the no CO2 tank, the no CO2 tank is already developing algae. So that's really, really quickly. You can see here on the on the glass over there, some green dust algae. And especially on the side panel here, there's a lot of green dust algae. I actually just noticed it this morning. I was really surprised by that. So I guess that's the combination of maybe still quite powerful light, quite strong lighting, and the nutrients that are leaking from the from the substrate. So this was fairly unexpected. I didn't think I would see any changes between these two tanks, at least not for the first two weeks, but this has been five days. I knew that there would be a lot of uh, nutrients leaking from the substrate. So that's why I've been doing almost 75% of water changes every day now. Um, but yeah, to still see algae, that's quite surprising. Anyway, let's talk about the plant growth, because actually plant growth has been quite good in here as well. Um, again, the Heteranthera zostrifolia doing really good. Um, the Hygrophila araguaya is growing new leaves, looking more red already. Um, Monte Carlo is starting to carpet here as well. Not much happening yet with the Marsalea. But I think there's more happening underneath the substrate. Um, yeah, moss, not really much yet. Um, my Grantamum umbrosum also hasn't really grown much yet. In the background, we're also starting to see some color on Ludwigia over here. So that's very similar to the CO2 tank as well. And the same goes for the uh, Rotala orange juice, also starting to show some orange tips. Floating plants have also started to grow, but not as much as in the CO2 tank. So yeah, I think that's everything for now. So today is Wednesday. I'll do a maintenance session on the weekend. So I'll leave it, I'll leave the algae for a few more days. See if it gets a lot worse or if it's maybe just a, just a little bit of algae and it will stop, stop developing, who knows. So in, in, on the weekend, I'll do a maintenance session on both tanks. 
and then I'll try to remove the, the green dust algae. Okay, time for another Twinscape update. It's now Sunday. It's been nine days since we set up both tanks and things are really uh, picking up now. Plant growth is, is really starting to pick up. I'm having so much fun watching both tanks develop and see the, the differences. Let's take a closer look. Okay, let's start with the no CO2 tank. As you can see, we have a lot of green dust algae. It definitely got a bit worse since the last update. Um, after this update, I'm gonna do a little maintenance session on both tanks and clean the grass properly. But let's take a look at the plant growth. Uh, starting with the foreground, the Monte Carlo is starting to spread. Yeah, quite okay. It's definitely better in the, in the other tank. Uh, Marcellea is still doing nothing. I don't see any new leaves here. But the plant behind it, the, the red plant, Hygrophila araguaya, is definitely starting to pick up nicely. Seeing a lot of new growth here. Nice color as well, definitely uh, has gotten more red since, since we've planted it. A um, little bit of growth on the moss as well, and then the Microntum membrosum, also doing really good. Definitely has grown since since planting. Uh, the star of the show is definitely the Heteranthera zosterifolia in the corner there, showing a lot of good growth, lots of new leaves, looking good. Also the background uh, Rotala orange juice, looking really good. Definitely getting orange, lots of new leaves. So that's looking good. And in the corner, still a bit hard to see, but the uh, Ludwigia, was it again Ludwigia palustris, I think. Also doing quite well. T the tops are getting uh, getting some color. So that's good. Also floating plants are growing quite well. I've already removed a little bit of floating plants from the tank. So yeah, besides the green dust algae, we also have a little bit of hair algae or filamentous algae. So we will clean that up as well. Then moving on to the tank with CO2. Yeah, I don't see any green dust algae here, so that's a big difference. Uh, in terms of plant growth, the Monte Carlo is definitely starting to carpet properly here. Looking much healthier, I would say, than the no CO2 tank. Also, the Marsleia has grown some new leaves here. So that's, so that's one, two new leaves over there. Uh, one, two new leaves over there. So that's a big difference as well. Um, the Hygrophila araguaya, yeah, also growing. I, I would almost say that the Hygrophila araguaya in the no CO2 tank has better growth or more colorful growth. So that is a bit strange. Um, Microntum ombrosum, also doing good here. Very similar to the no CO2 tank. Heterantara in the back corner. Mm, maybe a little bit more growth comparing to the no CO2 tank. Uh, Ortala orange juice, very similar to the no CO2 tank. And the Ludwigia palustra is also very similar to the no CO2 tank. So that is the current situation after only nine days. I'm quite surprised with the plant growth in the tank without CO2. It's definitely doing good and it's not that far behind from the tank with CO2. So I'm surprised that there is so much green dust algae in there. Like. Is that just because there is no CO2? Because the plant growth is so similar, then yeah, that has to be the reason, right? CO2 related algae issues are usually um, black brush algae, staghorn algae, and green thread algae. That's usually like the three main types of algae that will cause, that will be caused by a lack of CO2. So the greenest algae, yeah, I don't really get it. So I'm gonna give both tanks a good clean now, do a nice water change as well, remove all that green dust algae. And then we can see how it will develop in the next few days and see if the algae comes back or maybe it was just temporarily. Let's see.
Okay, so that was everything that's happened in the, in the past week. Um, it's now Monday. This video will go up tomorrow. So you guys are fully up to speed on what's happening with this Twinscape experiment. Um, I also just did a water test today. I'm not really a big fan of doing water tests. It's a lot of work and I, know, I think the results are a little bit unreliable. So I would take these results with, uh, with a little grain of salt. I'll put all the numbers on the screen. Yeah, there wasn't really that much interesting information. I mean, the pH in the no CO2 tank was higher, which makes sense. Um, injecting CO2 just lowers the pH, which is normal. Also, the GH and the KH in the no CO2 tank was lower, which is kind of odd. But yeah, the, again, like I said, take these results with a grain of salt. And the nitrites in the CO2 tank were higher as well. So that also doesn't really make sense to me. Like this tank has more plant growth, faster plant growth but it has more nitrates. So yeah, I just wanted to do the water test just to give some, some numbers to, the, to what's happening here. And by the way, yesterday after I cleaned the no CO2 tank, I also noticed that there was green spot algae on the glass as well. So we have green dust algae as well as green spot algae. So yeah, I think that's everything. I think that's all the developments. I'm curious to see what's gonna happen in the, in the coming weeks from now. Uh, I'll keep documenting everything that's, that's gonna change. So I'm not sure yet when the next update on this experiment will be. Maybe in another week, maybe in two weeks. Let's see, let's see what's going to happen. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about this experiment, just drop them in the comments. Also in the description of this video, I'll leave all the equipment and all the products that are used for this experiment. So if you want to use anything, do check that out. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.